guys. Uh, we're working here with the robot today. This has got some new technology with the staplers that we're excited to try out. This should be good for our bariatric patients. We already use the robot for a lot of our surgical cases. I like using it for hernia procedures, but having this uh, new advanced stapler is something we're looking forward to having. So you just uh, you come sit up at the console and you can manipulate it that way. So we've got a piece of low-tech foam here. It's a stand-in for doing some actual uh, surgical tissue, but this way uh, we're about to roll out some new uh, technology here and uh, we get to learn about uh, the devices we've got available to us, so we're looking forward to being able to use it. I'm standing here with the robot with the arms folded up here and you might be wondering what a stapler is and why we would use it in surgery. So it's not the same kind of stapler that you would use for office supplies to hold papers together but what we use is it helps attach tissues together and then make a new connection. So if you have the stomach uh, being attached to a piece of intestine you can use that for say a gastric bypass or if you're removing a piece of the colon or other small bowel and reattaching it to other piece of intestine you would use a stapler. What it does is it puts staples on either side and then cuts down the middle to attach the tissues together. We also use staplers for a sleeve gastrectomy where it takes the edges of the stomach and reattaches it to itself on either side of the sleeve and then the remaining portion of the removed stomach is also sealed to itself so that way it doesn't leak out any stomach contents uh, when it's removed from the body.